Hello and welcome to yet another ASIC 12 tutorial and today we'll just be going through well, we'll just be going through some simple stuff using uh, forms and uh, for those of you who have uh, s subscribers or have seen a couple of my previous videos you've probably been complaining about the sound uh, and someone suggested I use Audacity rather than uh, traditionally I use Cam Studio to record my audio so that's what I'm trying today and uh, let's get cr cracking sorry so uh, just open up your text editor and fill out the basic uh, format with the body tags, head tags, you don't have to put a title in and of course the HTML tags and we're just gonna put in a new tag called the form tag and then of course close the form tag and in here is where all our uh, our input text boxes, our buttons, our radio buttons, and all that stuff is going to go. But before we go on to that, there's just a couple of attributes I want to go through in the form tag. Okay, so the first thing we're going to be going through is the action attribute. Now what this does is, when you click the submit button, you obviously, you want to do something with the information that some whoever is filled out in this form so uh, the action is where this is given to and uh, this is generally either a PHP file or some CGI bin file so uh, as an example I'm just going to be using send.php I don't actually have a file called this but this is just an example so and of course there's the method as well which I also want to go through uh, there are two methods, well there are three, but uh, we're only going to be going through two. There's the get method, and there's the post method, I believe. And um, so y uh, they both pretty much do the same thing, and you must be wondering, you know, why are there the two? Well, um, the thing is, with the get method, um, when we submit our thing, it will show all the information in this address bar and uh, for security reasons that's uh, not as safe so a lot of people use the post method and that is definitely safer so anyway uh, I've just been saving a couple of times throughout this make sure you save this file and uh, just open it up in here okay so we can't actually see anything at the moment because uh, uh, we still we haven't put anything in our form our form may uh, represent that we are going to put in inputs uh, but we have to put them in before anything will be displayed and uh, just before I forget the final one I want to go through is the name attribute much like the uh, class and ID attribute of uh, div tags and span tags etc um, the name tag sort of let's say classes slash IDs because uh, well, no, let's say names, because it is the attribute name. So it names, uh, it names our form. And our form is just going to be called f form1. We're going to name it. And now we uh, move into the section of our form. I just want you to put input tag. And um, because this has no closing, you should put a space and then a forward slash at the end just to represent this has no close tag it closes on the one tag basically if that makes sense and um... whoops sorry about that uh... that we also have the name attribute in uh... the input tag uh... but before we put the name in we want to know what type of input we we are looking at at the moment so you just type type equals and then we're just going to be using text at the moment and because it's a text, we're gonna name we're gonna name this input first name. And if you just save that now and refresh your page, okay, we now have a uh, box here. And remember, the type of this input was text, so uh, this is going to be text here, of course. Um, a couple of attributes with this uh, text type, you can set the size. Uh, now the size isn't actually the uh, the length of characters, the max length of characters. That's set with the max length attribute. The size is just the size of what it looks like here. 
So if I put 100, this box will go 100 characters long. And if I put 10, it's 10 characters long. And now, if we look at the max length attribute, oops, not max length, max length. The max length attribute, uh, this is the maximum number of characters uh, the person is allowed to use. So uh, often when you comment on YouTube, it says uh, characters remaining, and uh, this will be the limit. Once you get to the limit, it will stop, and this limit will be referred to with the max length attribute. So uh, in here, if we just type, uh, well, just so we can get quickly through it, 5. Okay, now you're probably wondering, wait, but he's typed quite a few more than three characters. Well, um, this sets the limit, uh, but it doesn't actually stop them from typing any more. Uh, but when you send the file using our action and the method, it will only give uh, five characters. So uh, that's risky. You probably want to tell your uh, tell people if you're using this option. And 10 looks a bit small, so I'm just going to up that to 20. Okay, and uh, just so it makes a bit of sense, just type in first name. Okay, so now we've got first name, and it's pointing to our text box. Now we're just going to make a new input tag, so input, and uh, close it off there, and then inside put type equals, and call this one, oh sorry you missed all that, so we'll put in our input tag, close it off, and then put type equals, and I just want you to put password, okay, and uh, of course let's name this, so the name is uh, pass, let's call it desired password, okay, so desired password as the name and uh, we can give this a size too let's give it the same size for uh, 